Hi there, I'm Alira Riel, and I'm here again on the Mishmash SMP. Today I'm going to do a tutorial of the Beautify mod. It makes really pretty additions to Minecraft, like the hanging flower basket that I have here in my base. The hanging basket also has another very functional use that I'll tell you about when I show how you make it, but I want to do this in order so I won't leave anything out. Let's get started. I'm going to type at Beautify in the search bar here. This search feature is available on the Just Enough Items or the Roughly Enough Items mods and is very helpful. Okay, now I can see all of the items that I can make in the Beautify mod. I've gathered all of the ingredients that I'll need to craft at least one of each of the Beautify items and I'll explain how to make the variants. So, I'll grab all of those. First, I'm going to make some of the spruce lattices, and this is the recipe. To change the type of lattice, you'll just need to change the type of wood that you use. Each recipe makes four lattices, so I'm going to do three to get 12 lattices. Nice! If you focus on the recipe, it tells you to hold shift for more information or hold control for a list of plants. So, holding shift, it tells you that it can be placed on a wall or ceiling and to right-click on it with plants in your hand to place them in the lattice. And it says that you can climb it. Holding control shows you the kinds of plants that you can use. I'm going to put peonies in mine. Let's go try it out. I don't really have any walls, so I'm going to place this on this tree over here. There we go. And now to add the flowers. Very nice, except for all of the stuff in my face. Ugh, I'm going to turn that off. Much better. And just like a ladder, you can climb it like this. Oh, who's that? It's a white rabbit. He's so cute. Hello. Oh dear, oh dear, I'll be too late. I guess he must be busy. I wonder where he's going and what he's going to be late for. Um, he's going into the woods, and it's getting to be nighttime. I guess I won't be following him. I don't want to go in there at night. Okay, back to the tutorial. I sure hope that rabbit was safe last night. These are the types of wood that you can make trellises out of. Now I'm going to move on to making blinds, and I'm going to make the cherry blinds. Here's the recipe. Four sticks and two cherry slabs. This recipe only makes one, and I've made four of them. I don't have any windows here to place them in, so I'll have to put them somewhere else. But first, these are the materials that can be made into blinds. Several types of wood, and iron, so that's an added color that you can make. Now to find somewhere to hang these blinds up. My gazebo build will be lovely with blinds added to it. I've made some more blinds and, now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking I might need even more. Oh, there are some of the birch trellises that Raven used for this area. That would be a quick way up if you don't want to use the stairway. Okay, in this case, I'm placing the blinds on the top of the stair blocks here. Then shift and place them at the tops of all of the trap doors. They look like they'll be in the way and look kind of ridiculous, but there's a trick. Once you open the blinds like this and then close them, only the top rails will show. But when you close them again, they'll still go all the way down. Now I want some in the other two open doorways. There we go. Nice and cozy. And they can even be open from the outside. Very cute. And next are picture frames. They're made from woods too, but also quartz. Again, I'm going to use the cherry wood, 
and make a cherry frame. This is the recipe. Two slabs, white wool, and a stick. When you place down the picture frame, it comes with a picture in it. But you can scroll through by right-clicking with an empty hand and choose the one you like best. I'm going to keep this one with a forest stream. Very nice. And now we're moving on to rope. It'll be important in making the hanging pot. It's just three strings. Super easy. Holding shift gives more information. It says ropes can be placed like chains and are also climbable. I'll place a few here. And you climb it like a ladder or the trellis. That's pretty cool. And now on to my favorite thing in the Beautify mod, the hanging pot. It's not just pretty, but it has a superpower that makes it really useful. You make the hanging pot using a regular Minecraft flower pot and a rope. You can shift to get more information. It says that they can be placed on the ground or hung under a block and by using rope, but you can also hang them from chains. It tells you to right click to pot up plants and that you can use bone meal to grow the plants and shears to trim them. It also says to hold control for a list of plants that you can put into the pot. And here they are. I'm on a modded server and have found a few more plants that work. So be sure to check out any other plant items you have available to see if they'll also work in this pot. Okay, now I've got my hanging pot and I'm going to hang it here from a couple of ropes. Like that. And I won't bump my head on it, which is always good. Now I hold my plant in my hand, and I right-click on the pot. I'm using Lily of the Valley. There we go, hanging flowers. That's so cute. I went ahead and put bone meal and shears next to each other on my hotbar, and I'm going to use bone meal, aiming at the pot, and voila, longer flowers. Then, switch to the shears, and trim it also aiming at the pot and not at the hanging bits of the plant. And you receive a flower from doing that. That is the superpower. I've always wanted an easier way to multiply flowers and only the flowers that I want. Instead of bone mealing an area and maybe getting the kind you want, but also getting other flowers you don't want and getting a bunch of tall grass in your face. This makes it really easy to get a lot of flowers when you need them. You just switch back and forth from the bone meal to the shears and back again until you have all the flowers you want. To change out the flowers in a pot, you don't have to break the pot, but instead, with an empty right hand, click on the pot and that will remove the flower you have in it and then right click on the pot while holding the one that you want to put in the pot. Again, super easy. This is what a corn flower looks like. I'll let you explore what the rest of them look like in the pots. Here's an example of this type of pot sitting on a block. They don't get longer if they're sitting down, but they're still really cute. This flower is a dandelion and this light purple one that I have hanging in my base is an allium flower. And now, moving on to book stacks. They take three books in this formation. Holding shift shows more information, and that says that when you place them, you get a random stack of books, but you can sneak right-click to change what the stack looks like. It's also interesting that these can count toward your bookshelves for an enchanting setup. That's kind of cool. 
You can set them on the floor like this. Then, with an empty hand, shift and right click to scroll through all of the different looks. They're very cute, but I don't really want them on my floor. So, I made a little table with a different mod. Perfect. And now, the next thing to make is the light bulb. It's a copper ingot surrounded by four glass panes. Holding shift says that it can be placed hanging or standing like lanterns. Right click to turn on or off. I don't think I'll end up leaving it hanging in here, and I want to show it close up, so I'll hang it low. I'll right click with an empty hand, and it goes off. Then on again. Cute! I'll remove these, and I'm going to at least temporarily replace this lamp. Here's what it looks like sitting on a table. Aww, it's got a cute little pedestal that it sits on. That's really cute! But, it's not exactly the aesthetic of this room, so I'm going to remove it. And I know a couple of other lamps are coming in the mod. Next is the bamboo lamp. It's made with two pieces of bamboo, two string, and a copper ingot. And it says the same things that the light bulb said, hanging or sitting, and right click to turn it on and off. This is what it looks like on the table. That's so cute. It's got a very Asian feel to it. And here it is hanging. Now onto the glowstone essence lamp. This one is adorable. It only takes one glowstone dust and one glass bottle to make, but have more glowstone dust on hand because as it says, you can add glowstone dust to make it brighter. And you can right-click with an empty hand to remove the glowstone dust to dim it. That is such a cool game mechanic. I love it. Here it is hanging. And adding more glowstone. And removing the glowstone. And here it is sitting on the table. This really fits in here with my tree base, so it's staying right there. The next item to make is the candelabra. There are a lot of different colors that you can make, and all you need to change is the color of the candles that you use. I'm going to just be making the basic candelabra. It says that they can be placed hanging or standing, and that you extinguish it by right-clicking with an empty hand, and you light it by right-clicking while holding a flint and steel. Cool. Okay, it's made with three candles and four iron nuggets. Here we go, a candelabra. Hanging and lighting it. It's so cute hanging up as a chandelier. And extinguishing it. I moved the book so I could place it on the table. It's so adorable. I love this one. Okay, now I got another table for the books. And the final item in the Beautify mod is the Botanist's Workstation. If you know anything about me and my channel, you'll know that I have to have one of these. It's not just a cute decorative bench, but a workstation for botanist villagers. It's made with two flower pots and two planks. Very simple. This is only temporary, but here it is set down. It's so cute and flowery. I wanted to show the botanist villagers that we have on the server and what they trade, but they were moved and I couldn't find them. So, Boetic came to my rescue, providing me with several villagers of my very own. Thank you so much, Boetic! 
After much villager wrangling, I have finally installed them into the gazebo. And here are the two that I turned into botanists. This is what they trade for. Both are very similar, with only a couple of differences. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and showcase of the Beautify mod. It's really fun using the lovely items it makes available for your Minecraft worlds. Thank you so much for watching. I'd appreciate if you'd hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already. I hope you'll have a fantastic day or night. Bye for now.